Hi, now we are discussing the part C problem of CSIR NET June 2018 Chemical Sciences. Just observe the given problem. The structures of rhenium and osmium chloride complexes. Okay, just observe those complexes here. A complex that is rhenium complex and B complex that is osmium complex are made of or made up of uh, two metal tetrachloride units. Here M indicating metal that may be rhenium or osmium. For these structures, which statement is correct? The first statement is given as the complex A, that is rhenium complex, and B, that is osmium complex. A and B complexes both have metal tetrachloride units eclipsed. And statement B, A and B complexes both have MCl4 unit staggered. And statement C, the complex A, that is rhenium complex, has both MCl4 units staggered and the complex that is osmium complex has both mcl4 units eclipsed fourth statement a has both mcl4 units eclipsed and b has both mcl4 units staggered okay now to explain uh, this problem first we need to uh, check the first complex and here we need to find the oxidation state of rhenium in this rhenium chloride complex okay right so here just check the oxidation state of rhenium in this complex by using just simple formula you may know it so once again and here the x so consider here rhenium as x and here how many rhenium are rhenium metals are there two so 2x plus and uh, here chlorine what is the charge of chlorine minus one and how many chlorines are there eight so eight into minus one so the total charge on the complex is equals to minus two so from this we can simply calculate x is equal to three Okay, that means each rhenium in this complex is in plus 3 oxidation state. Okay, right. After checking its oxidation state, we need to find rhenium belongs to which group of the D black elements. So, rhenium belongs to manganese group of D black element and for, the, for that group, the general outer electronic configuration as 3 d5 4s2 okay total seven electrons are present in outer shells of this d black uh, group okay right so in that seven electrons if it loses three electrons then how many electrons are present in its d orbital only four are there so that's why here rhenium contains four electrons in its d orbital okay so here we have two rhenium plus three uh, metals in this complex hence they contribute eight electrons to form molecular orbitals for this complex okay right now we need to draw the second step we need to draw molecular orbital diagram now so this is the molecular orbital diagram here and it indicating bonding molecular orbitals and it indicating antibonding molecular orbitals now in bonding molecular orbitals so the lowest one here it is indicating as sigma and these orbitals are pi orbitals and these are delta orbitals okay now in antibonding that one indicating delta star and these two are pi orbitals pi star orbitals and this one is sigma star orbital okay so after drawing molecular orbital diagram now just fill the electrons which are contributing from two rhenium plus three metals in this complex so total eight electrons filled in bonding molecular orbitals only okay so each level uh, orbital here can uh, uh, have two electrons that's why eight filled in eight electrons filled in bonding molecular orbital now from this molecular orbital diagram we can calculate bond order okay so we know the formula that is bond order equals to half into number of electrons in bonding molecular orbitals minus number of electrons in anti-bonding molecular orbitals okay now just substitute the electrons in this formula so 1 by 2 into 8 electrons from uh, bonding molecular orbitals and 0 electrons from anti-bonding molecular orbitals hence we get 4 bond order equals to 4 and we know that bond order represents the number of bonds okay right so 4 is simply indicating that in this complex the rhenium rhenium plus 3 metals having 4 bonds okay that is quadrupole bond is possible in this complex 
okay right whenever quadrupole bond is possible in this complex the chlorine atoms should be eclipsed to each other okay so we can analyze it now just check the uh, structure of here structure of rhenium complex here and uh, there is a formation of four bonds that is quadrupole bonds in this complex and if you observe the chlorines on each rhenium unit are eclipsing each other okay they are unto each other okay this is just due to the possibility or the formation of delta bond and why we need to check here now so in each rhenium tetrachloride unit the bond formed between the rhenium and chlorine between the rhenium and chlorine by using dx square y square orbitals of rhenium rhenium to form a bond with chlorine okay these are important points here okay so the bond the sigma bond which is formed between rhenium and chlorine is due to the contribution of uh, dx square y square orbitals from the rhenium okay F one is over now we need to check for the four bonds which are forming between the rhenium complexes the first bond is sim uh, sigma bond now the sigma bond is formed by using d z square orbital of each rhenium okay d z square orbital involves to form a single sigma bond between rhenium and rhenium metal in this complex okay now pi bonds two by pi bonds are possible or formed in between these two rhenium plus three uh, metals in this complex by using the d y z and d x z orbitals okay right now the fourth bond that is a delta bond okay delta delta bond so which is formed just by using d x y orbital interactions from each rhenium unit okay right so here the extra bond that is delta delta bond is not absurd among the organic compounds okay so this is the special case in this inorganic complexes here okay right now after observing so the bond formations in this complex now as we said the formation of eclipse that means the rhenium tetrachloride each rhenium tetrachloride is on to the other rhenium tetrachloride that means each two chlorines and rhenums are on to each other each other or eclipse to each other so just observe here you may have or you may raise a question that we if we think general so the single bond formation between carbon carbon the bond length is more when we observe double bond between the carbon carbon so due to the strong interactions between the two atoms the bond length decreases and when we observe triple bond then the bond length still decreases between the two carbons that means in general by increasing the number of bonds the bond length should be decrease okay right we know that now if we check that in this rhenium complex it is having four bonds whenever it is having four bonds the bond length between the two rhenium metals should be decreased whenever that decreases the inter uh, that means the two chlorines are the each uh, two chlorines and the rhenium which are eclipsed to each other come nearer or closer to each other okay so they come to near to each other whenever they come to near uh, near to each other then there should be the rise of uh, repulsions steric repulsions right so whenever steric repulsions are rises then the eclipsed form or eclipsed geometry for this rhenium chloride complex should be unstable but it is getting stable why okay so that is just due to the formation of the extra uh, delta bond which is giving extra stability to this complex and uh, here the extra stability is possible only uh, or the delta bond is possible only whenever the chlorines are e uh, eclipsed each other onto onto each other whenever they are present on rhenium metals in this complex okay right now just check another complex that is osmium complex i know as we just uh, observe for rhenium complex we need to first find we need to find the accession state 
for the axmium here. So in this complex, osmium is getting plus 3 acceleration state. Okay, just observe it, plus 3 acceleration state. And osmium belongs to iron group in D black um, series. Okay, D black metal, uh, D black elements, right? Now, so for in uh, for the for that iron group, the general outer electron configuration is simply eight electrons. Okay, so 3d uh, six and four s two. Now, if it loses three electrons, so total electrons in its d equals to five only. Okay, hence here osmium is having uh, only five d electrons in its plus three acceleration state. Okay. Now, we have two osmium plus three metals in this complex and total 10 electron contribution is for molecular orbital formation in this complex. Now, just draw the molecular orbital diagram. Now, we need to take uh, the electron filling in the molecular orbital diagram. If we do that, eight electrons fills in bonding molecular orbital diagram, my orbitals and two electrons fills in delta star that is anti-bonding molecular orbital okay now after filling it we need to check bond order for the bond order we have the formula that is 1 by 2 into 8 electrons contributing from the bonding molecular orbital minus 2 electrons from delta star that is anti-bonding molecular orbitals equals 2 so by calculating it we get simply it is 3 bond order is 3 so bond order is simply indicating number of bonds that means in this complex osmium osmium is having three bonds only that means there is no extra bond or that is no delta delta bond so whenever delta delta bond is not there then the eclipse confirmation is not stable because so due to the uh, le uh, bond length decreasing between the osmium osmium whenever it is in two chlorines are in eclipse uh, position then steric repulsions play major role and that's why the as in this osmium complex each osmium tetrachloride unit gets staggered to other osmium tetrachloride unit to escape the steric repulsions which is formed between the eclipsed chlorines okay right now just observe why the rhenium is getting uh, eclipsed confirmation as we said due to the formation of delta bond then check how delta bond is forming here now just take x and y coordinates here now as we said uh, rhenium is forming the bond with chlorine by using its uh, dx square y square orbitals okay consider this is the one rhenium center and this is another rhenium center okay now so just observe the extra bond that is delta bond so which is forming from the contribution of dxy okay so dxy now so in this condition so in this rhenium other rhenium sorry other rhenium should also having x and y coordinates here and in that condition the dxy is contributing to form extra double bond extra delta bond that means to form extra delta bond they should be eclipsed to each other that means dxy orbitals on each rhenium unit should be eclipsed onto each other then only the extra bond that, are, that is the fourth bond or the delta delta bond is possible whenever they are eclipsing the chlorines on each rhenium atom or rhenium metal should be eclipsed positions okay so that's why in this complex the chlorines on each rhenium uh, rhenium metal or eclipse to each other to form as a delta bond that is extra bond which is giving stability to this uh, rhenium complex okay right now join on uh, chemasus chart online or download chemasus mobile app from google play stores to join and say sign at december 2018 and get to the uh, get chemistry 2019 courses and uh, here we give you assurance to give the best concept and best analysis to give the best uh, knowledge on say uh, chemistry to succeed by just playing on mobile or lab so you can get every feature uh, just like after institute you can get assignments um, model standard model problems 
and uh, you can get previous uh, solved problems with best analysis by in the form or in the form of uh, video lectures okay so in total syllabus is in the form of video lectures you can get from the uh, chemosis dot online so i hope it will help you to succeed in, in your dream thank you